July 2025. Astronomers racing to track a new interstellar comet expect just another cosmic blur, but what they find instead defies every rule in the book. 3. I slash Atlas isn't shedding its tail away from the sun like every comet ever seen. It's firing a focused plume straight toward it, creating a steady push as if some hidden engine is at work. Its chemistry is alien, its course ridiculously precise, and its speed, 135,000 miles per hour, forces experts to rethink everything they know about visitors from beyond our solar system. If a comet can behave like propulsion, and that's supposed to be impossible, then what exactly is 3i slash Atlas, and why does its sunward tail have scientists so rattled? July 1st, 2025. The Atlas telescope at Rio Hurtado, Chile, flagged a moving speck that didn't fit any catalog. Within minutes, the automated alert system pinged its operators. The object was streaking across the sky at 61 kilometers per second, roughly 135,000 miles per hour on a path no solar system body could follow. Slack channels and internal emails lit up as the first orbital solutions rolled in. The numbers were clear. This wasn't a bound comet looping around the sun. The trajectory was hyperbolic, its eccentricity far above one. An open curve, the signature of an interstellar interloper. Archive searches pulled up faint traces in older Atlas and Zwicky transient facility exposures from mid-June, quietly confirming the arc. Each data point tightened the fit, inbound from the direction of Sagittarius, slicing through the solar system just five degrees off the ecliptic. The precision stunned the team. Most comets crawl in from the distant Oort cloud, their speeds rarely topping 50 kilometers per second. Here was an object moving faster than any comet in recent memory, on a course that would carry it between Earth and Mars by late October. No threat to Earth, but impossible to ignore. The discovery, routine at first, had become a global alert. Within hours, observatories across three continents were racing to capture fresh images before sunrise. The name was formalized 3i slash Atlas, the third confirmed visitor from beyond our sun. The clock was ticking and every new frame hinted at a story no one expected. July 21st, 2025. Hubble's imaging specialists gathered for a scheduled session expecting to confirm a classic comet tail. Instead, the raw frames revealed a plume arcing straight toward the sun, a sunward jet, narrow and persistent. The standard anti-solar tail was faint, almost an afterthought. Gemini South's independent data matched the orientation. Analysts checked for artifacts, recalibrated filters, and compared with Gaia star catalogs to rule out background confusion. The plume held steady across exposures, its structure unchanged by changing viewing angles or solar wind conditions. Astrometry teams, drawing on Hubble and Gemini's high-precision tracking, mapped the object's motion against the reference stars. The numbers refused to settle into familiar patterns. Each positional update showed a subtle but consistent deviation from a purely gravitational path, an extra push measured at roughly 4 times 10 to the minus 7 meters per second squared. The acceleration vector lined up exactly with the sunward plume. No random outgassing, no tumbling jets. The force was directional, continuous, and always aligned with the visible jet. Radiation pressure models failed to account for the effect. For micron-scale dust, sunlight should have swept the plume away from the sun, not toward it. The only way to maintain such a jet was with larger, heavier grains, or something entirely new. The result? an object that appeared to push itself sunward, as if driven by an unseen engine. For the imaging and astrometry teams, the data raised a question that physics could not yet answer. What could create a comet tail that behaves like propulsion? Jet simulation experts at the University of Maryland ran the numbers on the sunward plume. To match the measured acceleration, 4 times 10 to the minus 7 meters per second squared, the object would need to lose mass at a rate of more than 300,000 kilograms per second. That's the thrust equivalent of a small rocket, not a comet. Actual dust and gas loss, measured through photometry and spectral mapping, sits between a tenth and one kilogram per second. The gap is staggering. Even if every visible grain in the plume were ejected at high speed, the observed material falls short by a factor of at least 10,000. 
no comet in the solar system comes close to this mismatch. JWST's spectroscopists, led by Dr. Carrie Liss, dissected the chemical profile of the coma. The spectra showed carbon dioxide outstripping water by 8 to 1, an inversion of the usual comet recipe. More surprising, atomic nickel lines appeared in the data, yet iron was absent. On Earth, nickel and iron are almost always paired, both in meteorites and manufactured alloys. In 3I slash ATLAS, the nickel stands alone. The team triple-checked for calibration issues and cross-matched with lab spectra. The signal held. Every standard model, sublimation, gas drag, ballistic ejection, fails to bridge the momentum gap. The chemistry only deepens the puzzle. If the numbers are right, something is pushing 3 i slash a t l a s toward the sun with a force nature has never shown before. Orbital analysts at Harvard fed the new trajectory into their Monte Carlo models, running millions of simulated interstellar arrivals. The odds that a random object would sweep in just five degrees off the ecliptic, threading past Mars, Venus, and Jupiter in sequence, came back as less than 1%. Most interstellar visitors should cut high angles, skipping above or below the planetary disk. Here, every major planet but Earth lines up along the path. Commentators who dissected the 2017 Oumuamua anomaly returned to the conversation, noting that Oumuamua's course had also hugged the ecliptic, but without the drama of planetary encounters. That earlier visitor showed a puzzling acceleration too, but never revealed a tail or plume, just a silent, tumbling shard. In contrast, 3i slash Atlas broadcasts its presence with a visible, structured jet and a trajectory that feels almost calculated. SETI-minded theorists and planetary dynamicists debated the implications in preprints and late-night streams. Some pointed to the chain of planetary flybys as a cosmic coincidence, a statistical outlier in a universe of randomness. Others wondered aloud if the path itself might be part of the signal, an engineered demonstration or a test of whether anyone is watching closely enough to notice. The blackout window loomed ahead, adding urgency to every new calculation. If the trajectory changes after solar conjunction, it will be the first real test of intent. Until then, the object's improbable path stands as both a puzzle and a challenge. Is this just chance, or is someone, or something, navigating the solar system with purpose? October 30th, 2025 As 3 i slash atlas sweeps behind the sun, every telescope on Earth and in orbit faces an unavoidable blackout. For weeks, the object will be lost in solar glare, invisible to even the most sensitive instruments. NASA's mission schedulers and ground-based teams coordinate their final observing runs, racing to capture the last moments before conjunction. Contingency plans circulate. No amount of funding or ingenuity can bridge the gap. The data stream will halt, leaving a blind spot at the very moment when the object reaches perihelion. For tracking coordinators, the risk is clear. Any change in speed or direction during this window will go undetected. The world holds its breath, waiting for three. I slash Atlas to reappear on the other side. Speculation runs wild as the world's telescopes fall silent. SETI theorists debate whether three I slash ATLAS fits the mold of a Bracewell probe, an autonomous sentinel waiting for a sign of intelligence. Others point to the carbon dioxide and nickel-rich plume as evidence of purposeful dispersal, a kind of terraforming payload seeded across planets. Some frame the object as an interstellar IQ test, its physics-defying tail and clockwork path set up as a challenge. Will anyone notice the rules are being broken? The darkest voices invoke the concept of dark forest debris, wreckage from a cosmic conflict, drifting with a damaged engine. Yet all agree on one thing. The only decisive test comes after the blackout. If, when 3i slash ATLAS reappears in December 2025, its trajectory veers beyond the limits of gravity and known physics, the debate will enter a new phase. Until then, every model, every theory hangs in suspense. Detailed modeling showed the observed mass loss was 10 times too low to explain this effect even as JWST spectra revealed an unusual carbon dioxide to water ratio of 8 to 1 
and the presence of nickel without iron. If the trajectory shifts beyond solar gravity predictions, the debate over natural versus artificial origin will enter a new phase. For now, 3. I slash Atlas stands as the most perplexing interstellar visitor ever recorded, challenging our fundamental understanding of cosmic phenomena.